Hello there. Um, just a very, very, very quick video today. Um, just because I'm really super excited about some mushrooms that I found about 50 yards outside my fucking front door. So I, I love finding mushrooms locally, especially when it's like, you know, you walk out your front door, it's like, fuck. It's <laughs> brilliant. So um, anyway, yeah, so now we're, we're sort of definitely eking more into winter now and the winter species are starting to show themselves, which is uh, which is a good thing. Um, so we've done pretty well over the autumn, um, but now we are getting into winter. So your bolites and your seps and, you know, your chanterelles and all those kind of ones that um, are so coveted during the autumn, uh, autumn season are now seriously diminished. So... We're not looking for those anymore. We're now looking for velvet shanks. We're looking for jelly ears. Um, winter chanterelles, of course. We're already finding those, and they are fucking brilliant. So if you do see those, get foraging and get them in your fucking belly. Um, but we're also looking for uh, bluets. Um, bluets are a great edible mushroom. And there's about... Well, there's three types that I know of. There's the wood bluet, uh, there's the field bluet, and there is the sordid bluet. And they're all superficially similar. Um, they usually have like a it's like, um, purplish tinge to them, like the wood bluet certainly can look really, really quite purple. Um, and it sort of stands out quite well. Um, but what I found just up the road was uh, these guys here. And these, I've got another one here that's even bigger. These are Lapista Saver, the field bluet, and they are a great edible mushroom. Um, some people say they're even better than the wood bluet, so the wood bluet's a, a bit more common, you're more likely to find those, but the field bluet apparently is a superior edible, although um, I'm not sure I've ever had an actual field bluet. I'm I'm convinced that I've only ever had wood bluets before, so I'll be excited to eat these later. Um, and here's a slightly smaller one here. I don't know if you can just tell on the stipe there or the stem. It's slight purple colour. You can just about make it out. And this kind of uh, buff coloured cap. Um, and uh, yeah, so finding these, literally, I found them on this fucking school run this morning. Um, so I went back and grabbed them a little while ago um, uh, on the school run to pick the kids up. So, yeah, not many. I've only got like four of them. Um, but, yeah, a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant edible to find, especially just on a suburban grass verge by the side of the road. I was not expecting to find them there. Um, so, yeah, I'm very, very happy about that. So, yeah, Lapista Saver, the field blew it. Now, these ones, as they get older... Um, they kind of lose that purple colour on the stem. Um, wood bluets tend to have that sort of purple colour almost all over. Um, they have it, you know, they have quite a purple cap, especially when they're younger. Uh, they have a really purple cap. But this little tiny one here, you can see, is still a very, very young one. Um, but that still has that sort of buff, um, sort of greyish, light brown coloured cap. And that is what's telling me. Excuse me, I just ate a massive wedge of fucking cake. That's what's telling me that these are field bluets and not wood bluets. Um, so yeah, oh, they smell lovely as well. They've got like a kind of a fruity smell. Some people say it's quite floral. Other people say, and I have to agree with this, it reminds them of frozen orange juice. Um, yeah, really good, really really good, and they smell nice and they're great. They really go well with um, like meat dishes, um, grilled sausages, that sort of thing. Uh, really, really good. Great breakfast mushroom as well, if that's your bag. Um, so the only thing to watch out for um, with the bluets is potential lookalikes. And there's one there's one that springs to mind, um, and that is one of the Cortinarius species, um, commonly known as the webcap family. Um, and there's one called the bruising webcap. Um, I'm not sure of the, uh, of the scientific name for that bad boy. But... Um, I don't think it's. I don't. I'm not even sure it's actually poisonous. I've got a feeling it's not poisonous, but there are so many quite seriously poisonous members of the webcap family that it's best that you just avoid them altogether. Um, and the, um, the the main way to tell between uh, the Cortinarius and the Lapista 
um, is to do a spore print because they do look very similar, especially with the wood bluet being more purple and uh, the webcap being quite purple too. So uh, the spore print of the bluet is going to be like a very light, pale, sort of pinky buff sort of colour. And on the Cortinera, it's going to be more of a rusty coloured spore print. So that is your, that is your fucking, that is your guaranteed identification difference there. If the spore print is is light pink, sort of a buffy, almost whitish pinky colour, then you're golden. If it's copper, um, copper, like a rusty, sort of rusty brown colour, then dash it because you ain't going to want to eat that one so but anyway yeah just thought i'd share um my, my my joy at finding some of these little guys just around the corner so keep your eyes open for these and they they do kind of go all the way through the winter um yeah unless there's like a fucking really serious frost that might be the only thing that um might finish them off but other than that they'll they'll be going right through the winter and they are they're a great edible mushroom and definitely one to keep your eyes open for. So there you go. Blew it. Fucking eat them because they're like well nice and shit. Uh -huh.